hello guys and welcome to the channel yes it's your boy padre beat and today i want to show you more tutorials i want to tell i want to show you more tips and for this purpose of this video today i want us to go into uh actually how to record uh your midi and maybe make uh you know how to record your midi in fl studio so before we go into this video don't forget to like subscribe and drop your comments when necessary so let's go into this video right away so first of all all you need to do is uh when making your beats uh i will be using fl studio 21 for this so uh the first thing mostly i uh i want to show you is there are two ways to actually make your beat you could actually start from here that's let's say for example this is your kick you could actually drag any of your kick and actually press any of this uh and uh if we are going with um let's say uh anything a tom let's say this is our tom uh if we're going with something like a rim let's say this is our rim so this is our rim so you could actually just you could actually do uh something like this if you have a midi keyboard uh or a synthesizer per se that you actually want to use to actually play your beat so you could actually uh load you could actually plug it to your door and the next thing you need to do is to come to options and come to midi settings you could actually see your door here as for me uh my midi controller is not really here you could actually see your midi controller here you will see the name will appear so what you need to do is to check whether it's enabled if it's enabled fine you could actually continue so if you have your midi keyboard uh plugged in uh all you need to do is just come to uh, record sometimes when you hit record uh it may ask you a lot of questions uh or you could actually come here and check what you really want to do so as for this we are recording notes and uh, let's say uh do we need automation for now we don't need automation if you need automation fine you could actually click but mostly sometimes if you click you actually actually see this alone but sometimes you may come up with uh, uh, uh a dialogue box asking you what you actually want to record so for this our uh our note is actually uh clicked here it's actually activated so another thing you need to do is if you are taking this off it means you'll be using the keys uh on your on your keyboard on your computer keyboard for shortcuts you can see as if i click on r it's showing record you know and the rest of them so but if you don't actually have a midi keyboard you want to use the keyboard on your pc as your midi keyboard and then you could actually just put this as you can see it says here on the hint panel it says type in keyboard to piano keyboard yes type in keyboard to piano keyboard so if as you can see this is it so if you want to record you could just hit on record uh let's say we want to do uh something like a dance beat something like let's say around uh, so if you hit once you arm uh, it you could actually just hit your uh, dash uh, that's your space bar so another thing you need to do is to actually put this click on this to actually help you you know count one two three so when it counts one two three the fourth one is for you to start recording and then when you arm this you need to sometimes arm this the metronome to help you guide you while you are recording it keeps doing that sound cook, cook, cook to actually guide you play on tempo or on the bpm so this is it so let's do this so okay so you could actually see that i have actually recorded this uh and then you can you could actually go on and on so if you want to record let's say the conga you could actually come here and click again As you can see it has recorded the conga so most of the things you need to do is when you record you could actually use ctrl q to quantize so that it will actually help you drop uh your note exactly on <clears throat> on the lines so uh the next pattern i want to show you uh recording in fl studio is using 21 uh this pattern i actually showed you from here is it depends on uh people who you know are trying to start into fl studio but for people who are uh, at least uh i uh, have the basics you could actually just come here and say okay this is my rim i will just drag my rim and say let's say channel one is for the rim i'll just so when you come 
you drop it as instrument track as you can see it has opened as instrument track so most of the things if you like you could actually arrange everything before you even start uh, making your beat so this is our kick so let's say we drag the kick and drop it so if you want to uh, for example you want to add something like uh, uh, let's say something like a keyboard let's say track mode you come to track mode that's if you want to add something that's not uh, a percussion or a drum or a drum you could actually just come to here and go to track mode come to instrument track and you could choose any of your plugins you want to use so let's go to fl keys for quick easy tips so let's go to fl keys when i drop my fl keys this is uh this this is a, a complete uh, bar so one two three four let's just drag it to four so this is it so if i want to record uh if i want to record uh this for this kick all i need to do is to come here and and click here when i click here it actually means i want to record for this when i click here it means i want to record for this so let's start with this i will click here one two three four oh yes so this is not okay this is actually the rim okay so let's let's do it again so let's go with the kick first so okay so it has recorded our kick so we can disarm this uh and come to the kick as you can see it has recorded our kick so all we need to do is to control q oh that's it hasn't really done justice to it so we could just arrange this as you can see everything is on a line so i actually made a mistake again i recorded so let's do it again for clarity's sake so this is our this is our rim okay so this is our kick we are going to be recording the kick now okay yes it's actually on the kick so we'll arm the track okay so let's do it this way so let's go into it and uh, control r as you can see it hasn't really dropped a few of this uh of them good so as you can see it has done so we could actually just duplicate it so for the rim let's say we are coming back to the rim as you can see if you click it here if i click back this it comes back to the kick here if i click on this it comes back to the rim so if we are recording the rim two three four okay so we have recorded our rim so we could actually quantize it and see okay so let's just say this is just the pattern you uh you want to record so if you are coming back to the keys that's fl keys our piano actually do it this way so okay so let's do it this way we arm it now okay so as you can see so we can disarm it or we come here all we need to do is to, uh, is to control q to quantize it to help it so for this we could just highlight this so this is just how to record your midi uh and actually make your beats uh in fl studio uh either uh any version or especially for 21 it's mostly from 21 that you could actually drop anything you want as i've said you could actually drop any of your uh plugins here and actually record or if you have a loop let's say uh, you have a shaker loop if you have let's check for a shaker loop this is a shaker loop if you have something like this you could actually drop it here and it asks you audio clips audio tracks or instrument track so audio clips what you do for audio clips as you can see you drop the audio clip all you need to do is to come here and fit to tempo and you see automatically it has fit to tempo so so this is just just how to record 
uh, MIDI in FL Studio. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be bringing more dope videos, more simple tutorials for you in simple languages and simple terms. Thank you.